Windows 11 is an incredibly easy operating system to work with, but sometimes error codes can be confusing. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidor Technology, and in this video, we're talking about the APC index mismatch error that you might see on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Well, the first thing that we need to do to fix this problem is to run an SFC check command. Now, to do this, press the Windows key and search for command prompt. Once this shows up, go ahead and click on run as administrator. Give command prompt the permissions that it needs. And once it opens up, go ahead and type in SFC slash scan. Now, press enter and make sure that your computer has an internet connection when you're doing so because SFC will now automatically scan your Windows installation and find any missing or corrupt files and replace them. It's also a good idea to run this command from time to time just as a regular maintenance error. All right, uh, once that is taken care of, we will move on to the next step, which is to disable a particular startup app. Now, if you right click the Windows button and head over to Task Manager, then head over to Startup Apps. Uh, in this list, you should see uh, something called the Realtek Audio Update Service or the Realtek HD uh, Audio Manager. This particular app uh, takes care of your uh, audio uh, interfaces on the system, but sometimes can cause problems uh, with the APC index mismatch error because it's a hardware issue and your speakers might not be playing well with it. So uh, just go ahead and uh, disable this service. You can just right click and then click on disable. And once it's disabled, go ahead and restart your PC to check to see if the error has been fixed. If it has been, the problem lies, lies in your Realtek drivers and you may need to update them which leads us to the next fix updating your device drivers now to do this press windows key plus x to open up the quick access menu again and head over to the device manager in device manager you will see a yellow exclamation mark in front of whatever device is causing the apc index mismatch error once you found device let's say the issue is in my speakers Find them, uh, right click them and then click on update driver. Let windows automatically search for drivers. So as you can see, I already have the best drivers installed for this particular device, but that might not be the case for you. So make sure you go ahead and you update all of your drivers. If that doesn't fix your problem, sometimes a faulty DNS cache can also cause the APC index mismatch error. I don't exactly know why this happens, but people have reported that using a custom DNS helped them solve the problem. So how do you do this? Well, we start off by pressing Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and then we head over to network and internet. And here we are going to go all the way down to advanced network settings. And now we are going to click on hardware and connection properties. Uh, as you can see, this will show you an entire list of everything that uh, your internet connection uses. And uh, currently, uh, if I go to my ethernet connection, which is the one that I'm using. Disconnected, disconnected, connected to internet. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the USB GB family controller, uh, the DNS domain name, connection specs, and these things are missing. And this is just using the default DNS servers that come with my internet connection. Now to fix this, uh, we will go back and find the internet connection that our uh, system is using currently. So as you can see, I have four options for internet and this is the one that I'm using. I'm going to right click on this. And then I'm going to click on uh, more adapter options. So I'll click the edit button right next to it. This will open up Ethernet properties. So scroll down this menu until you see uh, Internet Protocol version 4, IPTCPv4, and then click on properties. In here, choose the use the following DNS server addresses option. And now you can type in any DNS server you want. Most people tend to use Google or Cloudflare. So if you're using Google, your DNS would be 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and then 8.8.4.4. Once these settings are done, go ahead and click on OK. Save your changes, uh, restart your internet connection and uh, you should be good to go. 
If that doesn't help fix your problem, either you can try going ahead with a full network reset. Now to do this, just press the Windows key and search for network reset. First setting is the one that we need to deal with. So click on this and this will give you a network reset option. Uh, this will restart your system, uh, reset any network adapters, any Wi-Fi credentials or VPN client setup that you might have done will also be reset it. But this will get your internet connection restored back to the default state as was the case with your computer when you first opened it. So if there are any problems with your internet connection that might be causing this issue, this will definitely fix it. Last but not least, you can also fix uh, issues with Windows with Windows Update as you might know. So press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to Windows Update right here. Uh, as you can see, I'm already on the latest update, uh, but you can always go ahead and check for more updates manually just to make sure that you're on the latest version of Windows that's officially available for your particular installation and uh, you should be good to go. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.